All right, this is Frank Yosa, and we have Alex here. And Alex, actually, how do you want to dis describe yourself? Because it's a sensitive, uh, sensitive topic. Special agent with the FBI. I've been with them for a couple of years now. And a uh, range of job responsibilities, but one of them is instructing fit agents uh, of all degrees on physical fitness. Uh, we've had a new director who is taking a priority and making sure that agents are physically fit and ready for our job, you know, no matter what the task is at hand. And uh, he's been implementing some regimen tests every year to make sure we're, we're staying on track. And uh, with that, we're trying to ensure that all of our agents are getting some good fitness protocols uh, with some of the best training and nutrition. So likely uh, we heard about ketone aid and we, we wanted to look into it a little bit more and test it out ourselves before we make some recommendations. I'm really impressed that they allowed you to come on this interview. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That was no, pretty it's, forward thinking of them at least. Yeah, no, it's good. We're, we have a physical training unit that's always looking for all the latest and greatest um, you know, techniques and research. Uh, they meet with some of the world's best renowned doctors, and uh, sports physicians, jujitsu trainers. I mean, they, right. they do it all. So they're always looking for, uh, the next best thing to help us out. Which podcast was it that you heard that made you, you know, then reach out? Uh, ben Greenfield fitness podcast. Okay. I, I'd heard, uh, I'd heard that podcast and he had spoke about it in great, great length in podcasts and some articles. It okay. sounds like he had some, some good success in some of his races too. So, yeah. And it sounds like, it sounds like you did as well. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, you know, we, we went over briefly what your experience was and it was so good that I almost wanted to hang up the phone because I was like, no, no, I want to, I want this to be raw and for the first time on the, on the, on the podcast. But, uh, you know, we'll try and recreate, you know, some of that. Um, yep. so we sent you a, a full serving and you followed the protocol, which was 30 minutes before working out or warming up, uh, taking the glucose and then 10 minutes before warming up taking the ketones what was your regimen for the day what were you you know out to do so I, just to give a little background uh, i did this on a saturday morning and my saturday mornings right. is normally uh, my long run regimen um, and i, I kind of wanted to use something that I'm, I'm familiar with and i know how my body reacts after you know a night's sleep and waking up with no breakfast if i do a workout in a fasted state you know how how my body responds and i know how it feels so I wanted to, you know, keep to that same protocol and, and test it out right after waking up and, you know, you brush your teeth and go through your morning routine and test your, your blood glucose and, and then go. Um, my, my fasted state, I was at a glucose of 106 and my uh, ketone level was a 0 .0, or 0 0.4 millimolar. Um, so I was feeling pretty good. I got a good night's sleep. and I thought, uh, wasn't that the night that you said you wanted to try it a different day because you're you didn't I thought you didn't have a good night's sleep on that night or my and, and, and I asked you about whether you're uh whether your FBI agents if they get a bad night's sleep and they're <laughs> forced to wake up at 4 a.m whether they have to get up and go yeah I, that may have been the case it's, it's been a few weeks now so maybe yeah, I did yeah. that no, no you said you, you I, wanted to skip I forgot about I forgot <laughs> about a bad night's sleep and, and, I, no, and I busted you on that and I said no like you know you can't because sometimes people wait for this ideal scenario to try it and I'm just like no just try it even in the bad scenario and yeah yeah so I'm gonna yeah uh, no, thanks for thanks yeah. for uh, re refreshing the memory it's just I think I, I kind of had selective memory because after the feeling I had after the workout right I guess selectively I must have thought I, I was 100% before oh. I started no nope. yeah I remember that because I was like <laughs> yeah I busted you on that ah uh, okay so then you, you were doing like a, a how far of a run so this was my uh, 10 mile, pretty much just my 10 mile benchmark run. Um, I, I'm coming off of an off season of training. So my off season is long, slow distance, no real need to beat up the body. A lot of cardio with some high intensity workouts here and there. Um, but this is just a 10 mile benchmark as I'm starting to get into the speed work season. And uh, I, know, I know in the past couple of years where my 10 mile uh, benchmark is and and this was this was something different so um, right. so yeah, how, did it, how did it taste first of all let's start off with that so the taste was okay uh, I wouldn't say it, it's horrendous um, but it's not 
it's, it's not something that you're going to willingly drink uh, all day, every day. Um, but if you're used to drinking, you know, some, some powdered drinks or some greens um, with some different ingredients, and it, it's not so bad. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's, you got to drink it quick. Um, but if you follow the protocol and you chase it down with something else, it, uh, it's not noticeable. It's, okay. it's fine. Uh, the, the good thing I was a little worried about is, you know, sometimes you drink something that's not so great tasting. You wonder about how it's going to affect your stomach afterwards. Uh, I didn't have any ill effects whatsoever. Um, okay. It went down and I didn't notice it after that. My stomach was absolutely fine. Great. Okay. Good to hear. Yeah. So then you went on your 10 mile run. Yep. Yeah. I went on my 10 mile, uh, good conditions outside. Um, so that wasn't a factor. And I had, I had noticed pretty much a few minutes after taking the product, uh, very, very eager to work out, very jittery. So as I was warming up and going through my warm up routine, uh, I really, really wanted to get at it. And I didn't know if that was a combination of, um, you know, just me being excited to test out the product or, if really the product was having an effect. And I think it was more than placebo. I really do think that uh, it was priming my body and, and really getting me ready to go for a hard, hard workout. But uh, after a few minutes, I get, got through the warm up and I, I started moving and I, I noticed that I, I felt pretty loose. I felt pretty good and uh, I wasn't tight. I wasn't stiff. Uh, I was running at a good pace off the bat and I thought maybe I had started out a little too hard. Um, but I said, ah, let's just stick with this and see how it goes. And uh, I, clicking through the, the workout, it, it felt great. Um, the 10 miles went by really easy. And I, I think that's the first thing I remembered after the workout saying like, wow, I could have pushed myself harder. And when all was said and done, you know, coming out of an off season, a normal for me would be about a eight minute pace uh, for 10 miles. Um, but for this, this 10 miles, when I was all said and done, I think I was just under seven minute pace, uh, for the whole average in the whole 10 miles. Now that that's a good, that's a good average pace. Um, but I'm not a runner. Like I'm not a true, I'm a triathlete. I do martial arts. I do all sorts of training. Um, so I just want to kind of, kind of specify that that run was really good for me. Right. Uh, and I mean, that's like the, a, that's a 12, I mean, just quick math. That's like a 12, 13% improvement. Yeah, absolutely. And again, that wasn't a hundred percent. I crossed the line and collapsed effort. That right. was, I finished and I said, maybe I could do a mile or two cool down run because I, I feel great. I, uh, for, for being in that condition at coming out of an off season is incredible. That's normally my peak season race shape. That's normally when I'm just about to do a half iron man or, or something of that effort uh, a few weeks out. Um, but it's surprising how, how big of an effect it, it had. Awesome. On me. I and really I think one of, the, one of the great lines that I <clears throat> try to remember, you said that, uh, tell us your experience with other supplements that you've tried because you've tried, you know, many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've tried a, I've tried a bunch and a lot of it's fluff. Um, I, I think you really got to find what works for your body. And, uh, I, <laughs> I think this, this is very unique. You know, a lot of supplements out there, they, they make some bogus claims and some of it's a little too hard to believe, but then when you try out a product and it affects you so much, you're like, Holy, you know, Holy crap, this works really well. Have you had and, any supplement ever come close to what you experienced? No, no, absolutely not. I mean, a lot of it, I think a lot of it's placebo to be honest. And I've tried a lot. Uh, tried well, I didn't tell you that I actually just sent you a bottle of bitters. It really yeah. was. <laughs> uh, hey, send me another bottle then. <laughs> um, yeah, I think a lot of the a lot of the market out there is placebo. I really oh, the market. Do. I thought you were saying that part of the the twelve percent increase might have been placebo. No, 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 no. The, right. the market, the supplement industry, and, and the market out there. I think I think a lot of it's placebo. They have some great marketing schemes that really attract a lot of um, people looking for a quick fix. Right. Uh, you know, everyone's, everyone's looking for that magic pill. Um, and I haven't really come across any supplements that have made me feel so great in such a quick time and, and really given me such a performance boost. Um, 
Yeah, it was very, very impressive. And tell me about the mental, mental clarity. You said you gave me a story about how you're listening to a podcast and you thought your machine was broken or something. <laughs> yeah, I remember listening. Uh, so while I run, I listen to podcasts. I, I, I do that for twofold. One, it helps, you know, take the pain away and it helps dull the pain from, you know, your workout kind of distracts you a little bit. But also, I think it's, a, it's a good to be mentally challenged while you're working out as well. So mentally, I try to listen to some stimulating podcasts. And lately, I, I've noticed, well, especially I noticed that with the, taking Ketone Aid, I, I wanted to listen to the, <laughs> the podcast faster. I thought they were slow, and I thought some of the podcasts was getting a little boring. So I decided to speed it up, and I, I uh, hit the one and a half times pace, and I thought even that was slow at times. And I, I instantly noticed that there's some mental clarity. It's more than just the physical benefits. There's a lot of mental clarity with it as well. Right. And uh, I felt as if I could have taken a test while mid-run. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And then how was the rest of your day, hunger levels, um, yeah, and sleep that night and waking up the next morning soreness? So my, my after-action debrief uh, – I think that was almost as impactful as the workout itself. When I, when normally when I finish the 10 mile run with a good effort, uh, body takes a lot of abuse. Your joints get beat up and you feel stiff. You feel achy. You feel like you want to kind of lay down and relax the rest of the day. Um, but after taking the product and my run, I, I felt as if I didn't, I know this is, sounds bogus, but I felt as if I didn't work out that day. I didn't feel stiff. I didn't feel sore. Um, I felt as if I could have done, I could have done anything else. I could have went for a hike that day or I could have went out and played soccer or anything else. And, uh, I wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been affected from the morning's performance. I felt, um, there was no delayed on muscle soreness. Uh, there was no lethargy. There was, no, there was nothing. I felt great afterwards. And I remember probably about an hour after I, my, my thoughts started creeping into, uh, am I going to fail a drug test off of this? Cause no. this is such a performance benefit. Um, and I, I was shocked. I mean, I, I, again, I haven't taken anything to feel so good during an effort or so good, um, post effort. And I think you guys really do have something great. Uh, and I, I really, I really wish you uh, some, some good luck because this is, this is some good stuff and I really hope people get on it. Great. Uh, let me ask you about your, your breathing. Did you notice anything towards the beginning where you had to have an adjustment of your air intake? The breathing, I noticed about three quarters of the way through, and maybe it was mental, um, but I, I know that I, I was having some big breaths. And what I mean by that is I, I noticed that I was breathing in. I, I physically feel myself taking in big, deep breaths which was good because you know when you run a lot of people end up becoming shallow breathers and that's not always the best thing okay um, but i noticed that i was taking some pretty deep breaths three quarters of the way into the run to saying wow I'm, I'm breathing pretty good and it wasn't deleterious or it wasn't really affecting me poorly uh, but i did notice it was helping you know, perhaps maybe it was helping my oxygen rate and right. really getting some good uh, some airflow going okay well, uh, I think that's, that's it. Just wanted to make it, you know, short and quick. So thanks for, uh, where are you right now? Are you allowed to say what country you're in? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, say, uh, like the general part yeah, of the I'm, globe. I'm, I'm, I'm around the other side of the world. Other but, side uh, of the world. All right. No, but everything, everything's good. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to continue, uh, testing out the product and, and seeing, you know, where the limits really are because in our line of work, um, you know, we, we come across situations in an instant where some guys have to go out and they're going to be outdoors and exposure hiking to evidence sites. Um, there, there's all sorts of scenarios. That, well, waking uh, up in the middle of the night and having to just immediately be on clarity yeah. and chasing bad guys. Yeah, that, that too. I mean, there, there's a, there's a litany of scenarios that I could rattle off about how beneficial the product would be for our agent population. Uh, and I think it, it really it will become valuable um, in, in many scenarios because there are times where we have to react and we have to be on point because if not, you know, a lot of bad things happen and we don't want that. So. Did, did you test your ketones along the way? I forgot about that. 
Yeah, I did. Um, so 30 minutes, uh, at, well, I, I remember testing them, uh, right before I ran okay. and then afterwards, um, my run, I think I waited, I followed the protocol and I waited 30 minutes before running. Um, so I took the products, waited 30 minutes and then about two minutes before I started off my run, uh, I went, I went from 0 0.4 all the way up to 1.6 and my blood glucose was at 132. Um, so within 30 minutes, I went from 0.4 to 1.6, which was a huge jump. And well, that, never that's seen. actually unusually low. Usually in 30 yeah. minutes, people will be in the fives. For me, oh. that was a huge, that was yeah. a huge jump. Um, you know, and I'm not sure maybe that's diet related or if, you know, you're more, huh. um, in a ketogenic state. I'm not too sure. No, we've, we've um, tried it with people that are, you know, in, in in keto, they actually tend to skyrocket more faster. So that's interesting. It could also okay. be, you know, how you took the test. And then after your race, what were you? Uh, after, uh, I'm not, I'm trying to find it in my notes, but I think, I think I was somewhere in the three or four yeah. level. Yeah, that, that's um, more, you might have, uh, maybe when you tested it, it was on the way up and then you might have hit five or six during your race and then uh, end around three. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't, again, besides for in the beginning, besides for the noticeable eagerness to work out, I didn't really notice the physical effects until maybe 20 minutes into the run. And that's when I really started to feel a response yeah. to my body. So I, I think you're absolutely right. I think, mm -hmm. um, the Millie Muller had a, a nice gradual increase and maybe I was a little slower to start off with, but, uh, maybe it lasted with me a little bit longer because, yeah. uh, Again, I've never, I've never seen anything on on my uh, testing meter anything higher than a two. So it was it was nice to see when I finished. I was still around a four, which is right. uh, it's, a, it's a testament to your product. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.